Hey, it's Vinnick and Min. I'm back for another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Captain Nandi. How you doing today, Captain Nandi? I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Awesome. Oh my goodness. I already love this so much. There's so much lighting. But you're my tour guide. Where are we going first? Well, this is the resort of the dragon. And just to let you know that Eshe had her hands in it. Oh. So everything is top notch and fancy and only VIPs are allowed. And this is Chocolate Drop, my friend. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I would like to do this tour in a way where you would come to the resort to get a room. So let's go register first. Okay. Following you. All right. Yeah. And I don't know how to walk. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to move my my stuff out of the way. Do no, it's my... fine. It's exactly where it needs to be. <laughs> All right, so as we come in, here is our registration desk. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love all your lighting and everything already. <laughs> yeah, but before that, you got to pay up now. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The cash register. Uh, <laughs> how would you like to pay? With gold or your medallions? Those are uh, the only two payments that we take. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take Apple Pay? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I will pay you in gold. That's probably what I have a decent amount of. I don't have any. Yeah. Any yeah, we'll take coins the gold. on me. <laughs> we'll take the gold. All right. All right. Got the money in the box. All right. So this is our foyer and um, our reception, you know, where you are just registered. Oh, it's beautiful. And and if you like, this is our dining room and lunch is served. Oh. So we, if you would like to uh, have a snack or dessert first, however you want that, your money is good here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's included in the purchase. So wherever you want to start right. is up to you. I have really loved how people have been incorporating these uh, silverware utensils in place settings and stuff. And you know, it's it's so it's such a cool thing. Cool thing if people I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. All uh, right. So this is the lunchroom. And over here we have the um, lounge area. You know, when the people are tired of their room and just want to hang out, they can do that right here. Catch the family that's on vacation. Just kind of pass. Yes. through. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and super so, cozy. And I think from here um, we can go to our first room. Okay. Which is our Moonstruck room. It's more for the eclectic type of person. Ah, yes, yes. Ooh. And so everything is here that you need. Your bathroom is also uh, right through here. This is so fancy. Everything is fancy here. You, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I like, I, I really like how you've uh, decorated everything. Everything is nice and balanced and you're, yeah, you totally nailed eclectic out of the park for sure. <laughs> yeah, and in, in this in this room, uh, so you can choose this room if you like, or or the next one, which is our more modern room Ooh, for the yeah. modern contemporary person. Yes, ah, uh, yes. And the bathroom is a little bit bigger in here. I I really like how you have done your layouts here. Everything is is nice and orderly, and you kind of have <laughs> lots of little things snuck in. I. It's a it's a beautiful transition. And again, I mean, the way that you've knocked out your lighting here as well. Yeah, there's got to be light. And the next room is for our cowboys. <laughs> for the cowboys. Our ranchers. Yes. So uh, they like to feel at home. So this is the ranch room. Awesome. And they have a uh, huge bathroom because most of them are quite hefty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have to have lots of room. Yeah. And we do want them to feel at home. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. You did such a great job just kind of uh, adding little touches and, and things on the walls here. Good colors. It's nice and warm. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And now we can go to the other side of the rooms. There's three rooms here and four on the other side. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have to go back through the lunchroom. Nothing wrong with that. Common area. Yeah, and it's kind of packed, so we need to go this way. Okay. <laughs> and this uh, first room is the dragon room, the most expensive room that we have. Oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> I love the dragon room. Nice, yeah, each... nice incorporating, like, 
I really like how you incorporated the different wallpapers, you know, accents and everything. And yeah, this is really nice. Thank you. You can you can see like just from your designs, you've taken little elements from the set and you've added certain amenities like it's like, oh, you can have a hot towel brought to your room, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this next room is more for the elderly people. You know, they, they kind of like the classic look, the bellflower look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. I, I, I really like how you've used the different furniture sets and, you know, just kind of throw like this is very methodically thought out. Yeah, I try to make every room a little bit different, although they all have a seating area. This one has two, actually, and uh, a bathroom. I like you would, in, you know, as you're going to a hotel. Yeah, the uh, the angles and such that you've used for the beds and stuff like that, the rooms feel familiar, but you still kind of stick to that theme. Okay, and so this is our gothic room. Nice. <laughs> gothic room. Yeah. Yes, the Ravenwood. Um, and put a little green in here to kind of pop the darkness. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, this this is totally I totally get that vibe here. <laughs> Just kind of how you've incorporated more of the purples in here and you have your your greens and Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> now before we go into the next room. Yes. Once a year. We allow the lower class to take a room that they can afford. And that will be our next room. That is our contribution to Palia. Oh. <laughs> it's not as fancy as the others, but it is still nice. <laughs> it is very nice. Like you, yeah. can, you can fit a big family in here if you wanted to. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Have lots so once of a year. Elements, yeah. <laughs> The poor man gets to come and stay at a fancy hotel. <laughs> Eshe decided that. How generous of her. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's move on and let me show you where the staff stays and the kitchen, of course, where okay. all the food is happening, right? Nice. It's already making me hungry. <laughs> I think it's kind of a nice little touch, like, you know, the way that you have everything laid out, the rooms, how they're lined up, you you get to kind of see them again as we're walking back through. So yeah. nice little cyclical uh, tour. So here's oh, our kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Very colorful. Oh, wow. Yeah. The details. It's always yeah. in the details, ladies and gentlemen. The staff has been polishing knives, forks, and spoons, and uh, uh, everything is stocked up with drinks. Yeah, getting it, getting <laughs> it ready for the next day. Nice. Yeah, and uh, during high season, our staff actually stays here, and uh, this is their living area while they stay with us during the high season, so they don't have to walk home. Oh yeah. This is their living area where they. You know, just chill after a hard day's work. Oh, that's cool. I like how and, you incorporated that. Lots of different colors and Yeah, so everybody knows who whose bed is whose, right? So six oh, yeah. six of our staff stay here. Some live close by and they go home. But those that don't, they all have their own little section. How adorable. I like how you mix these tables together to form something new. <laughs> I it's always fun to see how people come up with, you know, like there are people that glitch items together, but sometimes just kind of combining them in this way, you can create something new without having to require more than one person. Yeah. With the stuff that we have, you know, you have to become creative. Absolutely. And so this is uh, basically the hotel. And uh, now we're going to move on to the entertainment Ooh, nice. area. Okay. A resort can't just be a hotel, right? We have to have animities. So, of course, of course this is uh, this is the servants' uh, porch. They have a little fire grill over there, and we hide it from the VIPs. They don't want to see all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we start back here, and okay. then just make a, a, a come back around. All right, following and so, you. Uh, 
over here, the first entertainment area, we have our chess club where they play for big money. Oh, yeah. High stakes chess. Yes. Very nice. They are monitored and uh, yeah. Yeah. You got the mounder station over here. That's wild. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure nobody cheats. <laughs> I know, right? And the next area is our family area. We have a bowling area. Oh, one for goodness. the adults and one for the children. Oh, how cute. Yeah, now and that we have monitoring balls. stations too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, you have no computer screen, so score is kept right there. Yes. <laughs> and now that we have these uh, glass balls, you know, they balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. They come with <laughs> strings too, so you got to like wind up. <laughs> yeah. So I was excited about those balls. And That's next awesome. is our arcade and uh, dart throwing area. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I see how you use the <laughs> knives as darts. That's awesome. That's fun. <laughs> Got to get creative. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Wow. And what would a resort be without a spa? Let's move on to our spa. Okay. Oh, my so, word. Wow. Over here is our waiting area. And here you register and you can choose between massages or various types of um, baths, mud baths, you know, uh, mineral baths, whatever wow. you would like. I don't know. I, we haven't seen everything yet, but, I, you know, <laughs> the, the tour that I did of yours before and those will be it'll be very easy to access from our playlists. You always have that one thing that's just like you turn the quarter and like, holy cow. <laughs> this is that thing i think i mean i haven't seen everything yet but no but not wow. yet i love how you have oh. everything here this is awesome it took a long time to make it <laughs> i bet i bet you know people love <laughs> i think people love just watching these tours and and just just guessing how long it took you <laughs> It took a long time yeah i believe and it. here is uh the gentleman like to hunt so awesome here they can do their target practice and we, safety is first. That's why we have these walls. So in case somebody from the spa is walking past, we don't want them to get, you know, shot. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> and here's just a little uh, seating area for people that just want to hang out and enjoy the weather. Absolutely. Yeah, I totally and see that. Another seating area. Awesome. And I forgot to move my box and my makeshift table. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It was meant to be uh, there. And now we're going to the disco. Oh. Got our disco ball and everything. Oh my goodness, yes. A <laughs> <Our> dance floor. <laughs> I love how you have these barrels. Like, I can see that's where the musicians are just going to be sit, sitting down. That's and right. Playing their music. Yeah. Beautiful And over table here. Set. You know, some people can just sit here and have a snack and what have you. Yeah. And this next area, you have to have ID. Oh. Oh, yes. That's, it's the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is ready, and we have some in storage back there. Awesome. Lots of booze. Oh, yeah. Ready Age to be to served. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, during the day, we have um, activities here. And cross this pond. Oh, wow. And the ladies have their tea clutch over here. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. Thank you. This is this is where the talks of the town happen, you know. And That's spill the right. Spill the tea on all the, all the latest happenings. Yes. <laughs> Did you across... hear what yeah. so-and-so said? <laughs> exactly. Girl. And you know... <laughs> Esha is the head of it. Oh, of course. She's she's the uh, she's the starter of it all. Yeah. And then across the way is the gentleman's cave. Oh, yeah. This is wow. <laughs> I love how you you theme this up. You know, it's you have nice lots of balance in here. Lots of good colors and little trinkets and stuff like that. Kind of how you've uh, framed out this window and. This is incredible work. Incredible Thank work, you. Captain Dandy. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, and that is uh, the end of our resort. So uh, yeah. I hope you mm -hmm. enjoy your stay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I absolutely did. This is fantastic. 
Well, uh, being as this is your second tour, I mean, you know the drill. Like, where is the, where would be a place that you'd like to do Q and A? And those of you who are are curious, the reason why I've I've referred to her as Captain Nandy is because she has earned that rank and title uh, in in other galaxies you know, related <laughs> to Star Trek. <laughs> Uh, she's a big fan of Star Trek Online, and you know, I I respect Rank as a as a veteran myself. So, anyways, Captain Nanny, fantastic. I like to use like the first part of this to kind of tell you, you know, um, just how incredible this is. All of the different elements that you put into this, the themes and everything, and you know, just wanted to thank you again for for having me out. Um, it's always kind of fun, you know, whenever I get to see people that I've toured out in the wild and, you know, I was telling you just before, before we're doing the tour that I was just like, that's a Trekkie. Like she's, <laughs> she knows, she knows what's up. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask a question, you know, a little bit more, uh, about you. How have, where do you get your inspiration from for, for this plot in general? Um, well, I was, you know, I watch all of your tours and um, I try to make things different, which is very difficult to do. Um, but um, a resort seems like the next thing to do. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. the longer I play, the more ideas I get. Like my next plot is going to be an industrial park. Oh, awesome. And um, yeah, that'll be a long time coming, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it's... so. Yeah, as they add more stuff, you know, then maybe I can come up with more um, ideas. Yeah, and absolutely. Oftentimes I get them from just simply watching the tours um, on your show. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. I really do. I really do. So, you know, given your history, we're going to lean a little, a little nerdy here. Okay. How would you incorporate some of the aspects of Star Trek into Palea? Well, I already have, but on another character. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I created my own little personal Vulcan area, right? <laughs> <laughs> he somehow got caught up in here, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, you know, we're not on Earth, clearly, because we have no. two moons. And, you know, maybe, I don't know, I, I, I kind of have some theories about... Um, like humans coming back and, and you know that kind of thing just i think it's kind of fascinating you know i like for all we know we could have some uh vessel that is uh adhering to the prime directive of not disturbing the people that are you know living on the planet of paleo <laughs> <laughs> or they erased our memory and sent us here you know uh, oh later gosh. on we probe us <laughs> yes right <laughs> Yes. <laughs> when they give us our memory back. <laughs> yeah, right. Because obviously we don't know where we come from, right? Other e than we humans. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's exactly right. And then when we come back, we wreck everything and start, you know, deforesting <laughs> and hunting down choppas. And yeah, no, that's yeah. that is fantastic. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll end with uh, with uh, one last question. Where do you think the story of Palea is going to go from here? Or, you know, where would you like it to go? Well, more maps, which rumors has it, there is another map coming mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, continuously expanding. Uh, maybe we will help them develop some human technology that we somehow remember or reinvent, uh, you know, so maybe it will uh, become more technological as we utilize the flow and whatever else we might run into. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's totally true. Well, thank you so much again, uh, Captain Andy, for having me out and showing me this beautiful, well laid out plot. You know, you really put a lot of effort into it and the way that you have shown your attention to detail and just you themed it up. And, you know, uh, I, I want to know what everybody else thinks. Definitely give this plot some love. There was a lot you can you can tell just from seeing the level of detail, how much love was put into this. Um, but. You know, I'll also say, don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think, and follow me for more Paleo Tours. Until next time, and thank you again, Captain Nandy. Thank I'll you. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>